Hey guys, what's going on? Jack Scalfani here. It's the Cooking with Jack show. Um, welcome if you've never been to the show. Uh, welcome if you have been to the show. Either way, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button down there. Um, I would always check on your subscription to make sure you are subscribed because lots of times YouTube likes to kick people off subscriptions. Not sure why, but over the years, people are like, hey, how come I got unsubscribed from your show? I haven't seen you in years. Well, I've been around for what? 2015, seven, seven, about 15 years, maybe 20, I don't know, but been doing this a while. So uh, bringing you some fun recipes. Let's get into this one. Obviously, I got a big bottle of Gentleman Jack, Jack Daniels right here. So that's cool. Um, not sure why I bought that size, but anyway, it looked pretty. So I grabbed it. But anyway, we're going to Put this in a pan. We're going to make Jack Daniel burgers. So this isn't my recipe, but I'm trying it out. If it's good, I'll have it down below. If it sucks, I won't put it down below, but that's kind of how it works around here. And by the way, if you ever see I didn't put the recipe down below, contact me, because sometimes I forget. I don't know why, I just do. And people tell me, hey, you didn't put the recipe down below the measurements, so I'll add that in, okay? But I don't want anybody getting lost or not being able to make this themselves. Come on in close, I'll show you the ingredients kind of as a whole. I wanna tell you what I'm doing with everything first, then I'm gonna do it, okay? And you're gonna to get to see it live. All right, I'm kind of excited about this because I love, if I was, I've always told you I love cooking with wine and hard alcohol. Uh, I love the flavors. Once you cook with it, you you know, the alcohol gets cooked out, but the flavor that's in these like barrels of Jack Daniels, there's flavor that I've smoked with the wood before that's been saturated with Jack Daniels. Um, I've cooked, I've marinated with this. The alcohol gets cooked out, but it leaves the flavor behind. All right, so what's what we're gonna do? This is gonna become a glaze. I'm gonna pour a whole bunch of this into a pan. I'm gonna reduce it till it's kind of a sticky goodness. And then that's gonna go on the burgers. And then we're going to caramelize. I got a bunch of chopped onions left over from Christmas, as you saw in the last video. Still gonna use these. These things are lasting like forever. I think I made way too many. Uh, season the meat with some Kinder's uh, Butcher All Purpose seasoning with the meat. Got some bacon, some Colby Jack we're gonna melt over the top. It's gonna be awesome. So let's get this started and I'll show you how it goes. Okay guys, so I'm using the Kinder's Butcher's All Purpose. You use any seasoning you like on your burgers. So let's put the Kinder's in first. Get that all shaked in. Remember, you can never season too much. That's my belief. There we go, mix that into the meat. And then as I always am, gonna do some garlic, get that in there. And get that work that seasoning in. There we go. Okay, guys, I got some hefty patties. The bacon's cooked. The cheese will go on the burgers when we're cooking them. Now I'm gonna go over and caramelize my onions, and I'm gonna cook down my gentleman jack into a glaze, and then I'll show you how it all gets put together. All right, guys, got a little butter and oil in this pan. I'm heating it up, caramelizing my onions. Okay guys, so I've been, these are getting kind of brown a little bit. They're not really caramelized yet, but that's a great idea. I have a little extra Gentleman Jack from the last time I cooked. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in there. And I'm going to deglaze the pan. There we go. There we go. Cook that up. Get that flavor into the onions. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Oh, 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 you guys, you have no idea what this smells like right now. This is way Jack Daniels. It smells great. I think they're done. All right, now I'm not going to touch the pan. I'm going to bring my patty in and just go straight to cooking my, pan, my patty. Stick that in there. There we go, everything's looking good. Look at them onions, those look great. 
Those are going on top. I'll go put those on the oven right now. Make sure my cheese is ready. Make sure my bacon's done. All right, now I've got to get my buns out and get them toasted. That's right, toasted. Once again, I'm toasting my buns. This way you guys won't have a coronary. So I'm toasting my buns in the air fryer right now. There we go. All right, let's talk about what we're going to do. Now, you want to melt cheese on your patty. Go for the other flip. And then take the cheese. Lay it on there. And you know what? I've seen people do this. There we go. Let that melt a little bit on there. Then when that's done, we'll place it on our place it on our plate. Now it's time to pour our Jack Daniels into the pan. So let's start reducing this last little bit I got. Okay, put that on low. Let's start putting this burger together. Jack Daniels is still simmering on the stove. I'm going to put a little bit of these glazed onions underneath first. Get those all spread out. There we go. Caramelized onions right there. I'm going to take, uh, take some bacon. Oops. Take some bacon. Place it right there. And right there. Now I'm gonna go get the the bun. I mean the uh, burger, not the bun. By the way, I burned the first bun just to be honest with everybody. Take the burger, put it on top, right there. Take some more bacon, put that on top, that on top, and then take some more onions. Put those on top. It's gonna fall apart, I know it. But whose Big Mac doesn't fall apart, right? This is a Jack Daniels Big Mac. There we go. Let's go get the Jack. Realize the onions have been sauteed in Jack, so it's gonna taste like Jack. The burger was cooked in a little bit of Jack, and we're just gonna drizzle just a little bit on top. There we go. Put a little on the bread. Put a lot on the bread. Put a little more on top. And that's it. Let's take a look at that. That looks beautiful. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay, guys, you ready? All right, here we go. This thing's drenched. I don't know what's better, the bacon, the cheese, or the Jack Daniels. All of it came together. Honey, you gotta come in here and try this. This is amazing. Wow. She's gonna love this. Mmm. Guys, you don't have to always commit to Jack Daniels. You can make a Jim Beam burger. You can make Jack Daniels burger. Cook it down to where it's like sticky and a lid and it comes out slow and then glaze it over your burger when you're putting it together. Wow. My whole mouth is full of that flavor. It tastes so good. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. So that can kind of sit with the seasonings, get into the meat first before we cook it up, okay?